So I'm starting recording now. Hi guys, welcome back to Spawn Gaming right, because... On me, uh, Taylor, search, just to... Yeah, I'll search you. Yeah. Ma'am, um, follow me to the front of the police car, please. Basically, major priority, so it's been terrible traffic. In front of it, please, ma'am. This in front of it, please, ma'am, here. Yeah. Just face yeah, the hood yeah, for me. Yeah. I'm gonna search you. Anything else can hurt me, stick me, hurt me? No. Basically, we've just been led down here by a trail of blood, found this lady who claimed to be Shelby Marks, and... Well, at least the marks looking for us is a Shelby. Ma'am, you said there was another bag in the water, and that's where she is. Yeah. Yeah. We found a bag of. Yeah, it's up on the shore. With a knife and blood. In water. There shouldn't be. And uh. It's either. Okay, ma'am. For me to decide, please. Yeah. We'll have the CST I'm swim. Have a look see, down there too. Uh, scene sweep. Oh yeah, oh, go, go. We'll get the CST team to sweep for it. Okay, ma'am. Mind your head. I'm gonna put you in the back of the car, okay? Okay. Basically, it turns out she may have murdered her sister. So we're going to take her back and let the CSTs process this scene whilst we work out what the hell is happening here. Because there's been a Hecarino and she's just confessed. We Mirandized her already, so this gets to be the rookie's first interrogation or interview, I guess. So we'll see you at the station once we get everyone back there. Because I wanted to have showed you the whole beginning of this, but it was about 15-20 minutes long of a lot of quiet searching and questions and... It got a bit weird. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be interrogation files today. Yeah, the rookie style. Because I don't want to go to the Mark Galloway priority of every cop getting shot. So I'm here. <laughs> okay, right, Miss Marks. I'll, have you hop out. Watch your head. I'll get the door. I'll grab you up by your arm here. This way. Okay. Interview. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. We need this room. Do you mind, sir? <laughs> go on. Off you go. It's okay. He's sleeping. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Take Bye -bye. a seat, please. All right, okay, um... Yeah, he's just sleeping. It's fine. And I'm standing on the table like it's the villain unicorn. Okay, That's uh, not we're just, doing yeah, I know. Ma'am, for the record, um, and for the tape, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can afford one, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights of bread and tea? Yeah. And with those rights in mind, you're still willing to speak to us today? Yes. Okay, uh, it's going to be Deputy Abigail Taylor and Officer... That'd be you, 121. Wakey, wakey. Oh, sorry. I was checking on the radio. What's up? Name. Tape. Officer. Dash. Blank. Okay. And we have Miss Shelby Marks with us here. Interview. Uh, it's the 5th of the 4th, 2021. Approximately 2.48 a.m. Okay, so Miss Marks, you spoke to us earlier under Miranda and you told us that after an argument with your sister, Lisa Marks, you attacked her and she was killed. Is that what happened? Do you want to tell us from the beginning what yeah. took place? Uh, yeah. So basically, I was never a big fan of my sister. She was always like the bitch person in the family. She was always mean. She, she was not a nice person. Okay. And my mom forced her and I to go out and have a quote-unquote fun day. Is that today? And well, uh, yeah. Okay. We basically went out today. We were on our way home. And, and uh, we kind of were just avoiding each other, you know, like the whole day. We went to the mall down in the city, did our own thing there, and I got back at the car got food, ate at separate tables and stuff, you know, got in the car, and then we came back up to, to, uh, You to stopped the, off uh, at Pop's County. Diner earlier, yes? 
Yeah. Okay. So what happened by the where the car was parked? The beeping is the panic um, button because there's like eight, nine officers down right now. We got into an argument. I was like, fuck you. She was like, no, fuck you. I got really mad, you know. Casual argument that happened. Uh-huh. I went into the house. Is that the property and, you live uh, at? I grabbed a kitchen knife. Yeah. Okay. I went into the house, grabbed a kitchen knife and a switchblade, and ran outside, went next to the car, made sure there was no one around, and I kind of stabbed her there. Okay, and what happened then? How did she end up down by the pier? Because you're not a big girl. I dragged How did you, her. You dragged her all the way down to the beach and down to the end of the pier. It was, yeah, it was dragging and growing. It was a mix of both. Okay. And there was nobody else involved that helped? Just you? No, it was just me. Okay. Um... I mean, yeah, was she they dead were when you got down there, or was she still Sunday. alive? I honestly have no clue. So, what led to this level of argument that you just suddenly went to grab a knife and stabbed your own sister? I was sick and tired of her. I mean, I was planning it the whole day during our our uh, fun day. Ma'am, you realize what you're telling me, yes? Uh, yes, I do. So, you're telling me that you went out today. With your sister, knowing full well that you planned to murder her when you returned home. Yes. But you still left the knife in the house. Surely if you were planning to kill her, you'd have brought a knife with you. And when she was least expecting it, just killed her. But instead you're telling me you got that home, you thing. argued with her. No. And then you went into the house, retrieved a weapon, came back out and attacked her. Is that what you're saying? Because part of yes, that doesn't track now. basically. I don't know what to tell you. Ben. Is there something you're covering up here? Is there something you're not telling me? Because, look, Shelby, I, I want to help you, all right? And you've been really honest with us so far. You've, you've worked with us, but this doesn't gel, okay? And maybe you think you've made a big mistake, but right now, with what you're telling me, you're looking at first-degree murder, which is premeditated homicide. That's life in jail, Shelby. But there are inconsistencies in your story that make me think there is something else at play here. Do you understand that? Yeah. Because if you were planning to kill her, you'd have brought a weapon with you and done it somewhere else. Instead, you did it at home in front of your property, left a massive mess, and stayed near where the body was found. Okay? But you left the weapon I mean, inside, know, so you honestly, came home, went inside, got a weapon, came back outside after an argument, and then stabbed her, and then dragged the bodily away, leaving a huge mess. This doesn't... What part of this was planned? I don't understand. Like, You're not telling me the whole the, truth here. The, pa the part that I was going to kill her today, that was planned. It was either going to be today. Today or tomorrow. Uh-huh. So you weren't sure when you are going to do it, but you wanted to do it, is what you're telling me. Yes, exactly. So this was still a heat of the moment argument that led to it, is what you're saying? Um, yeah, I mean, my plan, honestly, I have a whole plan, or did. It, it didn't go well. I was going to take her inside, and then I was going to kill her in there, and then throw her in the water. Uh-huh. But I got really mad really mad at her and it didn't go as okay. planned alright stay here for a moment ma'am uh, interview paused okay. at 0337 damn tables do you want to come with me officer this I feels know. weird I'm not hi sir we'll be with you in just a moment like a mix of Okay. I'm not sure about this. This feels really off. Like, she's confessing to premeditated murder, but none of it feels like premeditation. It, it, to me, it's like a crime of passion. They got in a huge argument, things carried too far. I think it's going to be difficult to prove premeditation. Good. I mean, partly she's confessing to it because maybe she feels guilty that she has she wants to go away for the whole thing. 
and she feels she needs punishing for killing her sister so she tells us she pre-planned it but none of the actual evidence tells us she pre-planned it this all strikes us yeah, here at the moment I, to me the evidence points to well what little evidence we have points to Pat in my in full honest my opinion there but if he testifies that in court then that's a for the prosecutor that's instant first degree yeah the, it is like a nice young girl just made a mistake no you're right i just what do we what do we write up on a jacket what do we give to the da because right now i'm torn here because i don't want to wreck an entire family and take both kids away from the, the parent but at the same time she did kill her sister and she's confessed to that yeah i mean I don't, it's it's tough to say i First degree is what it's pointing to, or not what it's pointing to, but what she admitted to. So. First degree, though, it feels like she's adding to the story to make it fit life, you know? Like she wants to go away forever. Yeah. It just doesn't I track mean, with it, know. though. Planning on killing it, I mean, we all, in a way, hate our siblings, right, you know? Yeah. I don't know if it meant actually killing her, that was the plan, or. Plus, how like did she drag her sister? Hand. On her own, that far. That doesn't fit. Yeah. She ain't a big girl. Yeah, she's a very petite woman. I don't know how that would work. Lifting a dead weight is really hard. I mean, she had to drag what? Unless she was dead. 110, 120 pounds the whole way. Even if she wasn't dead, she'd still be a real dead weight. Because that much blood, she wasn't yeah, exactly she walking. Wasn't That's a tricky situation. Definitely what's your call? Yeah, you You've got a seniority out. here, so what's your call on this? I, I don't know where to go. Do we hit first? Do we hit second? Or do we push her more? I, I say we push her more, see if we can get her to... She seems very calm and collected, you know what I mean? I've never seen Way somebody... Too. Yeah, it's just... It does It almost seems like she had a script, almost. Yeah, I think it's anybody who is planning to kill somebody. And they've said today or tomorrow I'll do it. They have some sort of weapon with them in case they want to do it there and there. They don't just go, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do it today or tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that on the post-it on the fridge, you know. Let's get back in yeah, there. Yeah, you don't do it from a residential neighborhood. Yeah. Hi, sir, Mr. Shopping Baggins. Can we help Hello, you? Oh, sorry. I'd like to report a crime. Okay, sir. Uh, this officer will just quickly take a statement from you. I will be right back, okay? Okay. Yeah, what's up, okay. sir? So, Time to push I her a little bit more. Uh, kidnapped. Oh, fun. Kidnapped? Uh-huh. Oh, what the okay. I wouldn't say kidnapped, but... Hey, 121? Yeah. Sure. These walls are real thing. Could you guys step away a little bit, please? Yeah, we can. I'll take a minute. Appreciate. Bit okay, Miss Marks. Interview resuming at zero four twenty-three. Son of a bitch! I need to close this. That could sod off. Okay, ma'am. Um, we've been talking, and there are some inconsistencies I'd like to go over. Okay. So, okay. why the knife? Why stab her? I mean, it's the easiest way to kill someone without having a gun. Okay, not necessarily. If this is a heat of the moment thing, you were planning to kill her, but you kind of only got round to it today and kind of a spur of the moment deal. Why not just strangle her? Why not just hit her with something at hand? Why wait this long and then go find a knife and come back? Because I didn't want her to suffer. Okay. You didn't want her to suffer, I mean, but you wanted to kill her. I could her. have dragged her. Yes. I mean, I could have made it worse for her, but... I didn't want and if this was so pre-planned, why not take her into the house? Her. Why not take her down to the beach and do it there? Why do it right there on the driveway? Because I got really angry then and there. Okay, and... Who I else was involved in this? Shit. Just me. Okay, but if you got angry then and there, why not just do it then and there? Why not just strangle her? Why not just hit her head against the window of the car? Why not just 
run her over. Why not do a number of things that could have been really quick? But instead, you go into the house and come back with a knife and do it then and there on the side of the street. Um. Look, Shelby, your story doesn't add up. There's something missing that we're not telling us, and we would like to know, because this doesn't add up. I, I don't know what's missing. Okay. I um, mean, I, I don't think anything's missing. It, it In my head, it adds up. So who else was involved? No one else is involved. So no one helped you. I mean, what do you weigh? What, 120? Uh, last time I checked around 130. 130 okay, 130. And your sister's about the same? Uh, she's a little bit younger than me. Okay, so, so right, you're telling me you just dragged dead weight, 120 pounds, all the way down to the beach. That's, what, half a mile? Well, it was the midst of it was in the midst of throwing her and also uh so dragging. she was pretty dead or dying so she's still suffering which apparently you didn't want to happen or she was fully dead at which point she couldn't actually move much herself so you had to essentially drag her that whole way that is a huge amount of effort and you're not a bodybuilder i wish i was a bodybuilder uh -huh. It means I could take the medicine that makes you stronger, whatever it's called. Okay. So... Anyways. Look, I get the fact you you want to take the heat on this, and you're telling me you pre-planned all this. It's like, you want to go to jail for life. Is that what you're telling me? Is this you feel you deserve uh, this? Because I mean, let's be straight here, yes, you're either looking at 30, her. or you're looking at life. Now... You're telling me straight up, you did this, you pre-planned it. You're telling me all the right things to get me to take you next door, book you for first degree homicide. You'll probably go to the, stand in front of the judge and plead guilty. And that'll be it. No trial, straight to jail. That's what you want, right? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So what if I charge you on second degree homicide? What if I treat this as a crime of passion and disregard what you're telling me here as conjecture or I'd misinformation? Kind of yeah, okay, so tell me the truth. Because what I'm getting is you want to go to jail for life, and if I'm threatening not to send you to jail for life, then that isn't the plan you have. So what am I missing out here? Tell me what I need to know to give you what you want. All right. Basically, what happened was it was a whole fun day thing, you know. Uh huh. It was it it was how I went when I said before, and uh, when we got home, I uh, went inside while we were unloading some of the clothes and stuff. She was still outside grabbing like her phone and stuff. She was texting some people, all that fun stuff. I went inside and I grabbed the knife. And this was after I the argument or before? Back. Yeah, after. Okay. We kind of, I was, I was going to say separate from her, but I, I was thinking, I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do. And I, I got really mad because, uh -huh. you know, I don't really like her that much. And, um, and, and um, on. outside, I stabbed her in the back twice. She was still alive. Okay. I threw her into that bag. Actually, no. That's after. I I had her drag, or I had her walk down while she was stabbed in the back. So you didn't want her to suffer, and, so you uh, used a knife rather than just attacking her and strangling her. You didn't want her to suffer, but you made her walk down. Whilst bleeding. Yeah. That sounds like you made her suffer more. Because she clearly knew the end was coming, so this doesn't add up. Look, Shelby, tell me the truth so I can help you. You're clearly suffering from massive guilt right now, but what happened? Because this doesn't make sense. I killed her. 
I don't understand what you don't get about that. Uh huh. I'm a fucking psychopath. I understand that. I need mental help. I killed her. I made her suffer. I did everything to make her suffer. Okay. <sighs> Let me take a look at the report here. Our CST should have finished working the scene, so... What does this tell me? Let's have a look. Okay, so stab wounds, yeah. Uh, your prints are on the knives. And it's her blood, so... Unfortunately, you win. It's a slam dunk. I noticed something off with this case. I did case. everything. I did everything to make her suffer. Something okay. is off with this case, Shelby. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to make sure you get psychiatric help. All right, walk forwards. I need it. Let's go. I fucking need it. Come on. Down to the end of the corridor. I'm going. Uh -huh. Motel, and uh, then I'll be right back. Right? Okay. All right, come on. In you go. I fucking need mental health. Okay? Yes, you do. I need her suffer. Okay. Right, she was back there to the crying in pain, and I made her suffer. This is dark. I enjoyed it. Okay. Now I have to open the cat again, even though it's all the freaking nasty no. fucking noise. Oh, joy. Of joys. Of noisy joys. No, go on duty. That's the one. Issue of citation or arrest. I'm putting her in for second degree. I'm not putting her in for first. Dorset Baker Act. S1409. Uh, one nine, three one three eight. Can't hit you with anything else technically right now. Lisa Marks is on order weapon and found at scene. Under Randa. Okay. Okay, Miss Marks. So, you're being charged with second degree homicide, and I'm going to be recommending in my report to the courts that you be sectioned uh, under the Baker Act and treated for your mental health. I've written that whilst you gave a full statement of premeditation that the evidence doesn't line up and I don't believe it and that whilst I believe you did kill her I believe there is a level of trauma here that's underlying this and leading to you wanting to take blame for something you didn't necessarily fully do or for the reasons you're saying okay so you'll be going to Bolingbrook for 360 days and you'll be receiving a fine okay. and a revocation of your CCW okay Right. Guards will take you across now. Wow, Abby's first murder. Yeah, wish I could have showed you the actual scene of the whole bit of that, but there was literally cancer traffic from the priority going the whole time. And it would have been really annoying, but this didn't add up at all. It was way too easy. It was a slam dunk. She gave us everything. I think maybe some people might have just chucked her in and called it good, but did not fit in the slightest no way oh different person oh that's technically her having served a jail sentence well i will find one for the uh, 21 and fill him in but otherwise abby's first interrogation wow i got a pain in the ass one didn't i <laughs> thanks for watching bye